What's up everybody, this is Antonio here to bring you another episode in the series of how many shares of a certain company do you need to own to make $1,000 a month, $100 a month, and even $100 a week. So in this uh, series, I do go over the companies you guys do suggest, the ticker symbols you guys give me. Uh, we'll pull up it on Seeking Alpha, read a, bit, a little bit about the company profile, look at the performance in the company uh, for the stock appreciation and then uh, go to the dividend summary look at the dividend and then crunch some numbers by pulling up the calculator and then wrapping up the video with the dividend yield looking at when the best opportunity is or currently was and um, the dividend yield to purchase the company so uh, let's go ahead and get started guys so today we will be going a uh, doing going over AMCR uh, so uh, the other thing is this is the current list I do have so if there's a company I haven't covered in the past or you don't see it on the list let me know in the comment section I'll be happy to add it and then uh, we will eventually get to it but uh, let me go ahead and pull up seeking alpha so AMCR and core PLC currently trading about $10.39 and then uh, if we actually pull up uh, a little bit about the company profile, we can read about them to see what they do. So Amcor PLC develops, produces, and sells packaging products in Europe, North America, Latin America, Africa, and Asia Pacific regions. The company operates through two segments, flex uh, flexibles and rigid packaging. The flexibles uh, segment uh, provides flexible and film packaging uh, products and the food and beverage, medical, uh, pharmaceutical, fresh produce, snack foods, personal care, and other industries. The rigid packaging segment offers rigid containers for a range of beverages and food products, including uh, carbonated soft drinks, water juices, sports drinks, milk-based beverages, uh, sprites and beers, sauces, dressings, spreads, and personal care items. Quite a bit there, guys. Uh, so the sector that they are in is materials. Uh, industry is paper and pack, uh, plastic packaging products and materials. Uh, the current employees they do have that showing up is 44,000. Uh, they were founded back in 2018, so not very long. Uh, you can actually look uh, at the company uh, a little bit more detail at mcore.com. Uh, but if we look back up here, let's go ahead and look at the year to date. Uh, so year to date, they're actually t uh, down 12.84% down. Uh, and then on the year, they are actually down 17.28%. On the five year, they're actually, let's see, I guess it's not going to show it because uh, it hasn't actually been available since five years already yet it only goes up to 2019 uh, but it looks like they were trading at around eleven dollars or so ten dollars so it's been kind of almost staying right around flat uh, but in those uh, past what four years or so you haven't really received any gains uh, if you had invested at this uh, 52 week range uh, is uh, 52 week low is nine dollars and 79 cents and then the 52 week high is 13 dollars and 61 cents uh, it's actually trading closer to the 52 week low if we look at the eps is 0.73 and then uh, pe is 14.28 uh, dividend rate is 49 cents and then uh, yield is a 4.72 percent and then the market cap is actually pretty large 15.05 billion market cap if we pull up uh, the dividend scorecard here guys we can look at the dividend summary again they are in the material sector the dividend yield is a 4.72 percent uh, annual uh, payout is 49 cents so for one share you do own they would get you would get paid about 49 cents every year payout ratio is 62.10 uh, percent uh, nothing in the five year and uh, the five year Kager there because remember they've only been operational since like 2018 2019. Uh, dividend growth shows only three years. Uh, frequency they do pay out quarterly and they would pay you out 12 cents every single quarter. 
Uh, let's go ahead and pull up the calculator guys so we can actually start crunching some numbers so let's see uh, how much of this company would you have to own to make one thousand dollars a month that'd be pretty sweet again i would not invest all this money into one individual stock i would definitely make sure to diversify because imagine if they did cut the dividend that would kind of really suck uh, but uh, yeah we want to make one thousand dollars a month every uh every month uh, there's 12 12 um, months in a year so you multiply that so annually we do need to make twelve thousand dollars and then uh, if you actually take out uh, the annual payout so it's 49 cents divide the twelve thousand by the 49 cents this will actually give you the total number of shares you'd have to own to achieve that amount of money uh, and then you can actually take uh, that amount which would be twenty four thousand four hundred eighty nine shares if you multiply that times the current share price uh, this would actually give you uh, how much you would have to have invested currently in this company which is two hundred fifty four thousand four hundred forty eight dollars uh, and then you'd be roughly making about a thousand dollars every single month there's actually a quick way to calculate this take the twelve thousand you make annually divided by the current dividend yield which is four point seven two percent so if we look four seven two uh, you'll see that uh, we get roughly about 254000 as well. A uh, quick way to, well, I guess not the quick way, but let's go ahead and do the $100 per month. This one's a little bit more achievable because you do require a lot less capital. Uh, you can actually take the previous answer divided by 10, and this would give you uh, that. But since we do have the calculator, uh, we can do the calculation for anybody that uh, is interested. So we want to make the $100 every month. Again, remember, there's 12 months in a year. So annually, we do need to make $1,200. Uh, if you divide that by the annual payout, uh, this would give you the uh, amount of shares you do need to own which is about 2448 shares and then you just go multiply it times the current share price and uh, that will give you about twenty five thousand four hundred and forty four dollars you'd have to have invested in this company you'd be roughly making about one hundred dollars every month uh, of course they pay out for quarterly so you wouldn't get uh you know the the 100 every month you'd get probably 300 every month and then you'd uh, just distribute it out manually um, every month there uh, but a uh, quick way to calculate this guys is take the 1200 divided by the dividend yield uh, and then you would get roughly about uh, the twenty five thousand dollars there uh, let's go ahead and do the last one which is 100 dollars every week i think this one would be pretty great imagine 100 dollars every week for you to spend on the stuff that you need uh, or you know just you know splurge especially if you have everything paid off that would be pretty sweet but again i wouldn't want to have it all in this one individual stock uh, so 100 dollars. i'm not actually interested in this company but i'm doing it because it was requested uh, so 100 dollars we want to make uh, there's actually 52 weeks uh, in a year so we multiply it times 52 so annually we need to make 5200 and that would be almost the same as making 100 dollars every week so uh, 5200 divide that by the annual payout which is 49 cents and uh, this would give you the total number of shares you need to own which is roughly about 10,612 shares multiply times the current share price and uh, ten dollars 39 cents that means that uh, you'd roughly have to have about invested of hundred and ten thousand two hundred sixty one dollars in uh, this company and uh, you'd be roughly making one hundred dollars every single week guys uh, let's do uh, figure this out the quick way 5200 divided by the dividend yield and then you see we roughly get around a hundred and ten thousand dollars as well so that's pretty cool quick way to calculate that but uh, let's go ahead and wrap up this video by pulling up the dividend yield uh, so this is the dividend yield that you'll see it fluctuating over time so back in 2019 they weren't paying anything uh, or i guess at the beginning uh, around uh, i guess september they started paying and it was one percent and it's been going up and it's been staying right around four percent to three percent so again they don't really have that much history so far we'll see what happens let me know in the comment section guys if you are invested in this company if you're invested for the long term and uh, definitely would love to know i am not invested in this company this was just a requested ticker symbol uh, and again as well 
if there's a company you want me to cover that you don't see in the list let me know i'll be happy to add it to the list and then we can eventually get to it uh, as well don't forget to subscribe with the bell notification we're actually trying to get to 12,000 why well, it's not 12,000 but 20,000 subscribers definitely would appreciate your support if you guys help me out with that as well if you drop the big thumbs up on the video it definitely goes a long way helps promote the channel and i would really appreciate it i will talk to you guys later take care stay safe out there bye guys